want to know the seven things that you need to build an effective sales funnel for your business. Hey guys, my name is Michael Granados from Viral Home Base Pursuits. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what I just said, the seven things that you need to be able to build an effective sales funnel for your business. But before I do that, I wanna just tell you that if this is the first time you're watching me, I come out with videos like this on how to do things like affiliate marketing, build a passive income, online marketing. Um, you know, in fact, I started way back in the health and wellness space, building up a lower back pain niche site in affiliate marketing and since then have evolved, you know, with using WordPress, blogs, um, videos, and being able to do things with sales funnels and funnels in general. So I built plenty of them for myself, helped out many other people as well. And um, now I want to help you understand how to use an, a sales funnel to effectively um, market it and also be able to get people to do things like uh, buy from you and get on your email list and so forth, right? Because that's very important. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you the seven things that you need on the share screen. here. So here are the seven things and there could be more, but I just picked out seven of them. You know, there's going to be more of them, but I wanted to pick some of the important ones and touch on them. So number one being knowing your who, okay, in your own marketplace, whether that be in the health and wellness, coaching and consulting, whatever that is, okay? Know who it is that you're targeting. Who is your dream customer? Who is your audience, right? The more specifically you can know about your who, the easier it will be to put an effective sales funnel out for your business, right? Because at the end of the day, a sales funnel does what? It does two things. One, it offers an offer. And then two, it carries a sales message. Those are the things that a sales funnel provides you with at the, at the core, right? It's an income gen, uh, generating tool, right? It's not, it's not like supposed to be like the whole business. It's supposed to be the income generating revenue stream, right? So if you can knock down those two things where you have an offer and then you have the proper sales message, of, co of course, hooks and all that matter, but in traffic, but you have to understand that at the very core, it's those two things, right? And so knowing your who specifically, you can dial in with a sales funnel and specifically speak to that person. That's what sales funnels allow you to do very well. Unlike websites where sometimes, you know, you have to go to an about me page. They don't even land there. Um, how do you showcase that? Where do you take them afterwards? It's, it's always all over the place. Um, so knowing that you can use the sales funnels to like triple your conversions and also be able to get in front of people and provide value, which at the end of the day, that's what you should be doing is providing value, right? And that's really going to be helpful. Number two being having the right offer in place. As I mentioned, having an offer. Um, if you want to build an effective sales funnel in your business, you need to be able to differentiate yourself. What makes you unique? What's your unique selling proposition, your USP, right? And I tell that to people all the time. What is your USP? Why should people come to you and buy from you versus this other coach? right? This other coach who's a soccer coach or this other person who's a consultant, this other person who does affiliate marketing with the same um, products and services that you, that, you know, you both offer. What makes you different? What makes your offer different? Do you put in a course in there that they can't get anywhere else? Or what do you do? All right. That's going to give them more incentive to want to be able to buy from you. Differentiate yourself. What's your message, right? What are you telling your audience, right? If I have somebody in the health and wellness space and they are looking for a CBD oil product that requires their focus and concentration. They're looking for a specific one that can help them with mental clarity. I want to speak to the person who needs it the most. Is it a freelancer? Is it an office worker? I want to speak to them. I want to say something like, Hey, you know, I know you're struggling with having to deal with going to work every day and sitting in that office and that cubicle can be a drain, especially if you don't know how to get rid of the pain and the, mi and the migraines and the headaches that you're having but I know I have the right solution for you and see, and you lead it into that. So having the right who understanding who you're specifically speaking to makes the biggest difference. I'm telling you at the very beginning, I was, it's, it's okay to think broad, but over time you want to get narrowed in Right? we select niches and we go into things, but we think broad. Okay. Think broad, but over time, even your niche will change. Even, even the people you're serving will change. Okay. So be unique. 
If you're USP, what makes you different? Why should people buy from you? Why should they hear you out? What makes you an authority, right? What's different about you? Can you do something faster for that person? Can you do it in less time, right? Um, can you do it more effectively? Build your brand. You have to start focusing on building the brand. Focus, focus, focus. Who are you? Why should people listen to you, right? Why should they appeal to Why? How can you appeal to them? Give them more reason to love you, not like you, love you, so that they're coming back to you every single time. And now you have that email sequence where you can talk to them over and over and the different ways that you reach out to them, right? Customize your funnels, right? Customize them. Everybody has a similar funnel. You know, you can get all these share funnels and I'm going to show you a powerful tool that I use that you might already be aware of and you probably already use, but customize them. Stop using done for you funnels. Okay. Done for you funnels are good because they're formatted in a way you should be using them, but customize them to your own brand, customize them to yourself. If you have to make that video, make that video. If you have to make that video sales letter, make that video sales letter. If you have to use a long form sales letter, make that long sales form letter. It'll make the dividend, the long-term payoff will be so much more tremendous. Okay. It'll really pay off. Trust me, customize things, put your audience's customer needs before yours. Okay. That's a huge one. If you're, if you're, if you're all about me, 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 forget about it. Don't even use sales funnels. Don't even get online and do anything. Right. You know, I don't, teach people in this channel not to provide value. I want you to provide the value up front because your value is directly proportional to how much you can make, right? As they teach me in science, chemistry, when I went to school, directly proportional, thermal chemistry, all these things you learn about, right? Think about when something goes up, what else will follow, right? Value follows up, your income will increase. Okay, so now I wanna show you a tool that I use that I'm so proud to use of to use. Um, it's been very effective for me and I wouldn't want to use anything else, right? There's a lot of sales funnel builder tools out there, but the one that I use is click funnels. Um, there are other ones that are like all in one, but they're not like sales funnel legit builders, right? You get things like builder all, you get things like thrive themes, um, and, and 10 minute funnels are the, all these other ones, right? There's so many I can go into and I have a blog about these if you want to know more about them down below, but, and videos, but they're not as effective with click funnels within a click of a button. And all you do is you import that proven template into your account and it can pop up like this. Look, all the web pages are put together. It's just a sequence of web pages with everything else. All you would have to do is you'd, you'd really have to go and select them one by one. And you don't know what comes after what is that template going to convert for me or not. There's so much. So if you want to build an effective sales funnel, stick to click funnels, right? And I'll have more information down below um, as one of the best ways you can do it through uh, with my help. And other ways is like through the one funnel away challenge. Hopefully it's still there by the time you're watching this video, but it's going to walk you through how to create an offer, your messaging, the hooks. It's going to tell you everything that you need. You even get free templates and, and it's by the best people um, by Russell Brunson, Julie Stoyan, and um, Steven Larson himself, right? So um, if you want to build an effective sales funnel for your business, really have to take the time to understand who you're speaking to. And it starts off on the first page. So this is a template that I can give you. If you don't have it, I'll have it down below. But, um, oh, and also I made a video on how to uh, produce a great sales funnel down below. I have another video for that that talks about how to um, make one fast, right? How to produce a sales funnel fast. And it talks more about this as well. And I kind of go into the same framework with the same um, funnel and I have many of them that I use. So how to build an effective one. You want to have a headline, you want to have a what, the story, what are they going to be getting? And then you want to have a call to action or an offer. In this case, the offer is put their name and email address, right? And you can format this in different ways. But at the very core, this is what you're looking at as an opt-in page. This is what we call a lead magnet funnel. You're showing them, in this case, it's, there's a tablet in there. This is only an example. And you're showing them what they're going to be getting before, right? There's other ways of doing this where, you know, and I've shown this in other videos where, um, just for this example, I'll go ahead and erase this, but you can do this where you can simply go over here, right? You can put an input, and then I can clone it. And then I can go in here and just click this within the click of a button. It shows this sidebar here. And then I can go ahead and do 
input type and I want to do first name, full name, whichever one. I usually go with first name and I can type in what I want the placeholder to be. And then I'll leave it as non-required. Email address, set this here to email. That's okay, required, it's always done. You can change the different things you want, the fonts. You can even center the titles um, and then have a call to action button. I can just type in the B for button and then I can customize this the way I want to. All right, I can do that. I can even go to advanced settings, icon picker before or after. I usually like to do the little arrows. It doesn't matter which one, but there's a, there's a bunch of them. And then I can even increase font sizes. And so it's that simple, right? I can just come up with a headline that's specifically for my audience. Call your audience out. Remember at the very beginning when I talked about who, speaking to your who, one newbie banked with no prior knowledge. So it's somebody who wants to make money online, maybe, okay. Free video exposes how, can even be how to, I can go over here to add element. In this case, I'll do a subheadline. Something like that. And fast. Okay. I could even put this as a bigger headline. Okay. Something like this. And then the story, what they're going to be getting. See how fast I made that? It's tailored to who I'm targeting. Somebody who has aching lower back pain. It might just be somebody who has acute pain and they want to get rid of it naturally and fast without having to use painful medications, right? It can be NSAIDs, acetaminophen, whatever that is. And then I can go from there on out and just change these things and then call the action button here, set action, I'll go to the next step in the funnel, or I can submit, you would want to submit the order here. Once I put their name and information in here, they'll be taken to the next part of the funnel that's already designed for us. Or what we can do here is I can even go into the general on submit, go to, and I can send them to a specific page I want to. I collect their email, I can send them to a different page. It doesn't have to be that part of the funnel that comes next, right? And I can save that. This is what we call a reverse squeeze page. We're not showing them exactly what they're getting, but we're giving them something, you know, fast to the point. And there, and there's other ones like a reverse squeeze page, which I'll show you. But that's how fast you can make one. And it's very effective when you have an opt-in page like that giving them something of high value, like a free video in that case, free book, and then you can send them to the next page, which could be your sales page, right? And this template I can go ahead and give for you, it'll be down below in the, the description. So, you know, it's already done for you. All you gotta do is substitute it with your own. Put the information that's gonna draw them in. All this is done here for you. You know, call to action buttons and then the offers in there. Just tweak it out to make it your own offer. But all, all, all of it depends on what your goal is too. Like, are you a coach? Are you an affiliate marketer? Are you a network marketer? Are you trying to sell somebody the course? Are you trying to give them an, um, an effective way of just communicating with somebody just to take them into something for free? What is it that you're trying to do? You know, sales funnels can be used to have some, it's, it's more so used for people to, purchase from you, but you can also um, send people to different places, right? And so, you know, after that, you can have an order form here. You know, they can purchase this low ticket product. This low ticket product could have been a seven zero to $37 product, seven to 37, put their name and email in here. You give them again, we'll give recap of what they're gonna be getting. That was on the last page, which is like the bonuses, you know, and then they purchase from you. And one thing I love too is using the order bumps. The order bumps are gonna change your business forever. 
adding a one-time offer that they can get, right? For maybe a price of like 37, 14, whatever that is, bumps up everything, right? And if you want a business, like I tell people, your blog, your YouTube, these are a lot of your marketing channels to get people into the business, into, into that low ticket product and, and then into that more mid tier product and then into those higher ticket products, right? Whatever it is you're trying to go after. And then you have a one-time offer page and order confirmation, members area, and different formats that you can go into, right? Giving them their bonuses through their members area. Um, you know, and I have other funnels that you can use for this, you know, as, as other examples. Here's just one of them that I have customized for myself. Remember the customized thing I'm talking about? See, I have a bunch of upsells, I have down sales, order confirmations, and so forth. It's just kind of rearranged in a way that I want it to be for my own business. Thank you, Pages. You know, something like, like so. And this is one that I put together, bonuses and so forth, what they're gonna be getting only for $7, kind of using the templates, right? So it's always good to use a template to go off of, and that's the one I wanna give you down below in the description. Um, and so, you know, you can always customize it to yourself is what I wanna get at. And then let me go ahead and I'm gonna jump on the whiteboard here really quickly and just show you how to make things even more effective. Um, and if you wanna see more of these funnels, I have more videos on them that go more in depth. And I also have a training for this as well that you can get your hands on for free, a uh, free training course. But, you know, before I do that, actually, let me show you this. To build an effective one, you kind of have to understand the funnels that you're using too. You can get this Funnel Hackers Cookbook that I'll leave in the description below and get it for free. And it'll show you how to use all the sales funnels, all the different ones, all the different funnels that come with ClickFunnels and how to use them for your own, right? Do you need a sales letter funnel? Do you need an auto webinar funnel? You need an application funnel, a high ticket. What is it, right? What level are you getting at? And that's why I want to jump on the whiteboard here. Or I can just select from the left side here if I'm in the e-commerce. And I just want to, you know, sell a product or generate leads, sell product. And it gives me what I want. What is it? A selling a low ticket front end? Okay. We'll do daily deal funnel or two-step tripwire. And it'll talk to you about how to use these funnels and how you can import them into your account within the click of a button. So now let me go into the whiteboard here. And I have more videos on this concept, but it's called the value ladder. This is the first time you're hearing about it. It's basically the steps your audience, your customer goes down when they come into a funnel, right? So, excuse me if it's a little breaking up here, but you know, what do I wanna give them at the front end? You know, it might be just an opt-in, where you get their email address, you give them what they wanted for free, and then you might redirect them into your free plus shipping offer. Or your SLO, right? Your self-liquidating offer. This is basically where you're breaking even. You're giving them something like not expensive, but you're breaking even. It's going to help you for ads. So you don't have to spend money on ads. You're actually making money, right? You're breaking even. Um, and then, you know, you might be sending them to the next part of the value ladder, which is a webinar that'll close them on your core product, right? For maybe $97 or so, whatever that is. And then after that, you might have more backend and the higher ticket stuff. And then you might wanna use an application funnel for that. You might wanna use more of a high ticket um, funnel, right? In, in, um, in close proximity with your um, sales funnel, right? And excuse me if I got kind of dark here, it's been kind of a gloomy day today. Let me actually turn on the light right here. And um, so that's what you wanna do, right? When you're moving somebody up your value ladder, you know, this can even be right here, the free plus shipping, and then you take them into a more mid-tier product and a one-time offer. And then this might be your core product you're selling them on. And then you have more higher, tickers, higher ticket stuff on the back end, right? And that's great if you can control the cart, right? And if you don't control the cart, 
you can still do it, right? You can still sell somebody on that first um, lower ticket product and then send them, once you have that email address, right? Then you can send them to that part of the funnel, the, the, the middle part of the funnel and give them another product and then more higher ticket stuff, right? With the emailing and the blogs and the websites, YouTube videos, podcasts, whatever that is, social media. But that's how you build an effective sales funnel. You communicate with your audience effectively. You figure out who your audience is, right? And you want to go and see how you can help them out, right? Let me go through this again here. All right, just to recap, you want to know your who. So you can speak to them specifically, like I showed you on that opt-in page, how you can create that very fast and it's very effective to collect those um, emails and then be able to follow up with them in your email auto automation and be able to send them back into your sales funnel, right? If they don't buy the first time, you can, and if they buy, you can always still send them more. Um, have the right offer in place, like I talked about, have a res an irresistible offer that's gonna differentiate yourself from everybody else. What's your messaging that you're trying to get across? Be unique, be different, build your brand, start focusing on that. Customize your funnels, don't make them like everybody else's. Put your audience's customer needs before yours. And there's more of them too. This is just some of the ones that I wanted to highlight the most. Hopefully you got a lot out of this video. I showed you that you can use a powerful tool like ClickFunnels, which is my number one recommendation, right? I moved, you know, I, I use this with my blog. Didn't think it would have worked. Works very well. And I even help people understand how to use sales funnels with their blogs and how to move forward and how to scale from there. All right, guys, hopefully you got a lot out of this video. Hopefully it helped you out. Look below in the description. There's going to be the templates, the training, um, and then so much more. I'll have videos down there as well. And um, if you have any comments, make sure you leave me a comment and I will get back to you. I mean, everybody has a different specific need in a different online marketing industry whatever, or offline, whatever that may be. Okay. All right, guys.